Welcome to Creating a Side Scroller System Part 1, brought to you by GameTutor.tv. Throughout this course, we are going to set up the major infrastructure uh, or the code framework in order to create a side scrolling system uh, like the one you see here. So let me hit play here really quick. Now you notice that we have this really fancy editor tool over here that allows us to turn a system on and off. It also allows us to uh, remap the uh, keyboard settings. Um, allows us to turn mouse control on and off, so on and so forth. Um, we can also control a lot of the different aspects of how the uh, player actually jumps and moves forward and um, how the camera lags, uh, stuff like that. So you'll notice that we have a, a ton of different parameters here. And um, when we're making these changes while the game is running, everything is being serialized or saved to a uh, scriptable object asset. All right, and so basically this allows us, or a designer or artist, to actually change the, the, the game up at runtime without having to worry about popping in and out of the uh, uh, play mode and editor mode. You'll notice that the values all stick. So I'm going to set that back to 10. All right, so throughout this course, we are going to learn how to set all this up, how to create our asset uh, in the asset database, how to create all the scriptable objects, and how to create a fancy uh, editor inspector like this that allows artists and designers to work with the particular sky side scroller um, system. All right, so there's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Thanks so much. Yeah. 